a group of five monkeys suddenly burst onto the stage, <laughs> and each one had a unique slapstick talent to pick up the bowling and stitches. Another monkey managed to pick up a bowling ball and use it as a unicycle. <laughs> hey, this crazy story was made live with directions from me and my viewers, and all the pictures were generated as the story was being created. So if you'd like to bring your ideas to life, make sure to tune in the next time I'm live and drop some goofy suggestions in the chat. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. The story begins at a bowling alley. Nothing more, nothing less. It was a typical Friday night at the bowling alley. The brightly lit, neon lit lanes were filled with quirky characters. There was a group of elderly women in matching bowling shirts, a young couple on a date, and a group of rowdy college <laughs> students celebrating the end of midterms. The retro vibes and fun atmosphere were contagious, and everyone was in high spirits. At lane 7, a man named Bob was having the game of his life. He had never bowled a strike before, but tonight he had already scored two in a row. He was determined to keep the streak going. As he stepped up to take his next shot, a gust of wind blew through the alley, knocking over all the pins before he even had a chance to release the ball. As Bob looked around in confusion, he noticed a strange figure in the corner of the alley. It was a man wearing a top hat and a cape, holding a wand. Before Bob could even ask who he was, the man disappeared in a puff of smoke. What the heck was that? Bob exclaimed to his friends. Suddenly, the overhead lights flickered and went out, plunging the entire alley into darkness. Become the mysterious man. Continue to pester the bowling alley players. <laughs> Wait, what was his description? He's wearing a top hat and a cape, holding a wand. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Bob and his friends looked around in confusion as the alley was <laughs> Can we do a little bit of darkness. trolling? Suddenly, the sound of cackling laughter echoed through the alley, sending chills down their spines. Suddenly, the lights flickered back on, and there was the mysterious man standing at the end of the lane with a mischievous grin on his face. <laughs> Hello there, my dear bowling enthusiasts, he exclaimed, swirling his wand around in the air. I'm here to add a bit of excitement to your game. With a flick of his wand, the bowling balls began to levitate off the racks and fly down the lane, <laughs> knocking over pins left and right. The players were both terrified and amazed as chaos ensued in the alley. Bob and his friends watched in amazement as the man in the top hat and cape danced around the alley, causing mayhem and destruction. They didn't know what to do but they couldn't look away. Finally, the man stopped in front of Bob and pointed his wand at him. Are you ready for the ultimate challenge, my friend? He asked with a grin. Turn everybody's shoes into chewing gum. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Bob gulped nervously as the mysterious man pointed his wand at him. He didn't know what kind of challenge he was getting himself into. Suddenly, the man flicked his wand again and all of the bowling shoes in the alley turned into chewing gum. Panic erupted as people tried to pry their feet out of the sticky mess. Bowling balls flew wildly as people slipped and fell on the gum-covered floor. Bob and his friends were no exception, as they struggled to keep their footing <laughs> and avoid getting hit by the flying balls. The mysterious man cackled with glee as he watched the chaos unfold. This is just the beginning, my friends! <laughs> shouted over the din. Who knows what other fun and games I have in store for you? Bob didn't know what to do. He was covered in gum and his shoes were ruined. He turned to his friends and asked, What do we do now? <laughs> this is just the beginning, my friend. Okay, we'll allow them to get back up. I don't want to let, just like, let a tiger loose. I don't want to just straight up kill anybody right off the bat. Allow everyone to stand back up and then disappear. After they think everything is back to normal, release a group of five monkeys out onto the lanes. Also, the monkeys have... Funny slapstick talent. I don't know. <laughs> I was just picturing in my head like like the Harlem Globetrotters just fucking going crazy. Just as quickly as he appeared, the mysterious man flicked his wand again and all of the gum disappeared, leaving the alley looking normal again. The bowlers cautiously stood up, still shaken from the chaos. Oh, make their hair slightly damp. As okay, they okay, okay. the collective sigh of I'll relief. I'll do that. The man in the top hat and cape suddenly disappeared in a puff of smoke. The alley was silent for a moment, as everyone tried to process what had just happened. But before they could even begin to make sense of it, a group of five monkeys suddenly burst onto the lanes, <laughs> running wild and causing chaos. They were wearing tiny bowling shirts and hats, and each one had a unique slapstick talent to <laughs> cut the bowlers and stitches. One monkey slipped and fell on the gum-covered floor, causing a chain reaction that sent bowling balls flying in every direction. Another monkey managed to pick up a bowling ball and use it as a unicycle, <laughs> riding it down the lane and knocking over pins. The bowlers were laughing so hard they could barely stand as the monkeys continued their hilarious antics. It was a scene straight out of a comedy movie. 
and they were all grateful for the moment of lightheartedness <laughs> after the chaos that I just love, ensued. I love the wholesome ending, <laughs> and they were all so grateful. Okay. So we'll make their hair slightly damp, and we'll make their palms itchy. <laughs> I love the caption. Bowlers scratching their itchy palms. <laughs> damp hair. After a few minutes of watching the monkey's hilarious antics, the bowlers started to feel a strange sensation. Their <laughs> hair felt slightly damp, and their palms were starting to itch. They tried to ignore it, thinking it was just the aftermath of the chaos that had ensued earlier. But the sensation grew stronger, and soon they couldn't ignore it anymore. They scratched their itchy palms and adjusted their hair, looking around at each other with confused looks on their faces. What's going on, one bowler asked. Is anyone else feeling weird? Another bowler chimed in. My hair feels damp and my palms are so itchy. <laughs> What's happening? The monkeys continued to run wild on the lanes, but the bowlers were distracted by the strange sensations in their bodies. They tried to shake it off, but the feeling only grew stronger. Signal the monkeys to jump together and combine like Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's a, a robot DJ. As the bowlers scratched their itchy palms and continued to adjust their hair, the monkeys suddenly stopped their chaotic antics and began to move in unison. They formed a circle on the lanes, and then suddenly jumped into the air together. As they <laughs> jumped, the monkeys began to merge together, their bodies twisting and contorting until they formed a giant monkey robot. There were mechanical sounds and flashing lights as the monkeys combined, and soon the bowlers were staring in awe at the giant robot in front of them. The robot was wearing a bowling shirt and hat, and it looked like it was ready to take on the world. The bowlers couldn't believe what they were seeing, and they stared in amazement <laughs> as the giant monkey robot began to move. It took a few <laughs> steps forward, its massive feet shaking the ground with each step. It raised its arms in the air and let out a mighty roar, and the bowlers couldn't help but cheer. Force the bowlers to engage in a break dancing battle with the monkey robot. I mean, what else are you going to do in that situation? The bowlers couldn't believe their eyes as the giant monkey robot started to break dance. It spun on its head, did the worm, and even backflipped, all while wearing its bowling shirt and hat. The bowlers were amazed by the robot's skills, but they weren't going to let it outdo them. They started to gather around the robot, and soon they too were break dancing. The crowd cheered as the bowlers and the monkey robot battled it out on the lanes. The music was blaring and everyone was having a great time. The bowlers spun on their heads, <laughs> did the worm, and even attempted some backflips. The monkey <laughs> robot didn't hold back either. Yeah, and it, off losing the it had yeah. the crowd going wild. After a few minutes of intense dancing, the bowlers and the monkey robot <laughs> finally stopped. But of a lifelong death. Out of breath, but they were all smiling. That was amazing, one bowler exclaimed. I never knew I had those dance moves in me. The monkey robot let out a roar, and the crowd cheered once again. Recall the monkeys and send in a highly trained team of gnomes. I don't know what they're trained in, but we're going to find out. <laughs> we can't let the bowlers get too comfortable. <laughs> As the bowlers and the monkey robot caught their breath, a strange rustling came from the edge of the bowling alley. Suddenly, a team of garden gnomes appeared, dressed in tactical gear and armed with tiny weapons. The bowlers and the monkey robot looked on in shock as the gnomes marched towards them their serious expressions sending shivers down everyone's <laughs> spines. Without a word, the gnomes split up and began to take positions around the lane. Some climbed onto the ball return rack, while others hid behind the pins. What's going on, one bowler asked. I don't know, another replied. But something tells me we're about to find out. Suddenly, one of the gnomes let out a whistle, and the others sprang into action. They started to run across the lanes, dodging the flying bowling balls and pins with ease. They fired their tiny weapons at the monkey robot, <laughs> which let out a roar of anger. The bowlers watched in amazement as the gnomes <clears throat> continued their attack. They had never seen anything like it before. After a few minutes of intense combat, the gnomes finally emerged victorious. They stood tall, their tiny weapons at the ready as the monkey robot slumped to the ground. The bowlers cheered as the gnomes took a bow. They were amazed by the little creature's bravery and skill. What do we do now? One bowler asked. That's up to you. One of them. <laughs> We're just here to save the day. <laughs> I love how the, the monkeys stayed there, <laughs> just got their asses whooped by the gnomes. <laughs> They're saving the day. I guess that's what I get for just saying they're specially trained. I didn't I didn't give them any commands. Okay. Uh, what's what's the only thing that can save you from a team of highly specialized gnomes? Um 
make all of the gnomes have wet and slippery feet and then send in a counter team of clowns with rubber chickens to overthrow the gnome. Suddenly, a counter team of clowns enters the bowling alley armed with rubber chickens. They charge towards the garden gnomes, who are still struggling to get up from the floor. The clowns start hitting the gnomes with their rubber chickens, causing <laughs> them to stumble and fall down. The gnomes try to fight back, but their slippery feet make it impossible for them to stand their ground. I think we over-nerfed them. <laughs> they were powerless. Oh, we'll bring in dancing lobsters. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Replenish the strength and health of the monkey robot to aid in the gnomes fight. Then send in a team of dancing lobsters to help out the clown. Make this publicized on national TV. As the clowns start to gain an upper hand, suddenly the doors burst open and a group of dancing lobsters enter the bowling alley. Not the lobsters. As the clowns started to gain an upper hand, suddenly the doors burst open and a group of dancing lobsters enter the bowling alley. The lobsters are dressed in colorful outfits and start to perform an elaborate dance routine to the delight of the crowd. The lobsters then join the clowns in their fight against the gnomes. The entire event is being broadcast live on national TV and people all over the country are tuning in to watch this bizarre spectacle. The battle immediately goes viral and people start making bets on the outcome. Everybody has a side and everybody's eyes are glued to the TV. Oh, I love that art. That's fire. As the battle rages on the bowling alley, the garden gnomes and the giant monkey robot are in the lead. The clowns and the dancing lobsters are struggling to keep up, but they refuse to back down. One of the clowns, who was an ex-circus performer, had an idea. He grabbed a bowling ball and started doing some impressive juggling moves. Soon, the other clowns and dancing lobsters joined in, using bowling pins as weapons and bowling balls as projectiles. The garden gnomes and the giant monkey robot were taken aback by the sudden attack. But they quickly regained their composure and started firing laser beams and missiles at the clowns and dancing lobsters. However, their aim was off, and they ended up hitting the bowling alley instead, causing it to crumble beneath them. At that moment, the owner of the bowling alley stormed in, furious at the destruction of his property. He threatened to call the police unless they all left immediately. Send two members from each of the battle party to distract the owner of the bowling alley. This is being televised live on national TV and everybody wants to know who's going to win. <laughs> Two members from each of the battle parties stepped forward to try to distract the owner of the bowling alley. The garden gnome sent their leader, a wise and charismatic gnome named Norman, and their most skilled warrior, a gnome with a fiery temper and a pension for explosives named Boom Boom. The clowns sent their ringmaster, a smooth-talking clown with a silver tongue named Ringo, and their strongest performer, a burly lobster with a heart of gold named Larry. <laughs> Larry the talking lobster. As they approached the owner, the chaos behind them continued to unfold. The giant monkey robot was still firing lasers and missiles at the clowns and the dancing lobsters, while the garden gnomes were using their gardening tools as makeshift weapons. The owner was clearly flustered and the distraction team took advantage of that. Norman stepped forward and began to speak in a calm and reassuring voice. Sir, we are deeply sorry for the destruction that has taken place in your establishment. We understand that this is a place where families come to have fun and make memories, and we would hate to ruin that for anyone. We are willing to do whatever it takes to make things right. Ringo chimed in, that's right, sir. We're all just performers just trying to make a living, and we would never intentionally cause harm to anyone or anything. We'd be more than happy to put on a free show for all of your patrons as a way of apologizing. The owner was taken aback by the sincerity and generosity. He had never seen such a chaotic and destructive scene turn into an opportunity for fun and entertainment. He agreed. <laughs> he started seeing those money bags. He agreed to their offer and allowed them to put on a show, which turned out to be a huge hit with the audience watching live on national TV. We're just going to let it continue. Make his hair wet too. Okay, it doesn't know that I'm a magician, so I'll have to weave this in carefully. Using ancient mystical powers caused the owner's head to become furiously <laughs> sweaty and dampen his hair. He assumes this is because he is 
anxious to see the outcome of the battle. I love how he just blew up his whole fucking bowling alley and was like, bro, just chill. It's all good, bro. As the battle raged on, a strange energy beam began to emanate from the ancient mystical artifacts that had been scattered around the bowling alley. Suddenly, the owner's head started to sweat profusely and his hair became drenched. The owner assumed it was due to the anxiety of the battle, but little did he know it was because of the ancient powers at B. Meanwhile, the garden gnomes and the giant monkey robot had regrouped and were now fighting with renewed vigor. Boom Boom, the explosive gnome, has set up a trap using bowling balls and a piece of string which caused the giant monkey robot to stumble and fall. Norman, the wise gnome, was directing the battle from a safe distance using his extensive knowledge of gardening to come up with creative attacks against the clown and the dancing lobster. What kind of creative gardening Is he just gonna fucking plant some flowers and throw it at him? I hope he's not using like fertilizer and, and, and flashing them with chemical weapons. The clowns and dancing lobsters were not to be underestimated, however. They had regrouped as well and were now using their agility and acrobatic skills to dodge the garden gnome's attacks. Larry, the burly lobster, had found a discarded bowling pin and was now using it as a makeshift mace, taking out any gnome that came near him. As the battle continued, the ancient mystical powers grew stronger, causing the owner's head to, <laughs> to sweat even more. <laughs> he started to feel dizzy and disoriented. Not sure if what he was seeing was real or hallucination brought on by the sweat, but he was determined to see this through <laughs> to the end and find out who would emerge victorious. Take vote from the audience of the nation watching home. Tell them to vote on their phones right now. As the battle continued to rage on, the audience watching at home was on the edge of their seat. They had never seen anything like this before and they were captivated by the chaos, colorful characters, and quirky dialogue. The tension was high, and everyone was wondering who would emerge victorious. Suddenly, the host of the national TV broadcast interrupted the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a crucial development in this epic battle. We are going to let you, the audience at home, decide... <laughs> I can't even... We are going to let you, the audience at home, decide the winner, who the winner should be. All you have to do is vote on your phones right now. The fate of the battle is in your hands. The audience was thrilled at this opportunity of being a part of the action. They quickly pulled out their phones and began to cast their votes. The lines were jammed and this was close that it was a clear race. As the votes started to come in, the tension in the bowling alley grew even higher. The garden gnomes and the clowns and dancing lobsters were fighting with everything they had, knowing that the outcome of the battle was, <laughs> was now in the hands of the audience. <laughs> Just fighting like, fuck it. Finally, the votes were tallied, and the host of the national TV broadcast announced the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by a narrow margin. The audience has chosen... The gnomes and their giant monkey robot! The garden gnomes erupted in cheers, and even the clowns and dancing lobsters couldn't help but smile. They had put on a show unlike any other, and they had all become friends in the process. As the chaos settled down, the owner of the bowling alley approached the winning team. You guys may have caused a lot of damage, but I have to admit, that was the most entertaining thing I'd seen in my life. You're welcome back here anytime, he said with a smile. And so, the battle ended, but the memories would last a lifetime. The garden gnomes and their giant monkey robot had emerged victorious, but they had also made some unlikely friends along the way. That's good shit. That's a good story right there. I'd buy tickets to see that at a drive-in theater. Hold on, let me come back. <laughs> I forgot about. I forgot about the magician. <laughs> oh shit! I love we get a play by play. And, and what's even more fire is in, uh, in the YouTube video. I can go back through and take these uh, images, and I can use them as image prompts. To make a uh, like AI uh, video, so I can I can make the the pages come to life. 
Uh, this is probably my favorite uh, picture from the whole thing. That really does encapsulate the whole battle. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs>